Okay, in this Wave Deploy application, I'm going to do some basic testing with the Wave Deploy application. I'm loading a sitemap, and then I'm going to set up the laptop that I'm working on to be the stationary server, which is wired into the network, and then I have a mobile client where I'm going to add a mobile client, which is my iPhone that I'm, uh, I have the Wave Deploy application loaded onto, and I'm going to do end-to-end -end testing of the wireless infrastructure from my wired workstation to the wireless phone by adding in the IP address of the associated client device. In this case, the host type is not going to be a laptop. The host type is going to be a smartphone, and I'm going to tell it to use the stationary server. And when I select those two icons, you can see that they're now currently connected. Uh, when I go to start the assessment, you can see that the default SLAs are set for an 802.11 n 20 MHz network. It's fully customizable. If you have different SLAs that need to be met, you can adjust those settings. Uh, I need to scale the floor plan, and I'm going to use a given doorway distance of 3 feet and scale the map. And then I'm going to start the assessment, and I place the uh, iPhone in the center of the conference room table, and I begin the test. And you can see that the uh, Wave Deploy application is starting upstream and downstream web HTTP traffic to the iPhone. And it's also doing voice UDP and downstream TCP speed testing. Uh, so it's doing end-to-end -end testing from a wired workstation to a wireless client on the same VLAN uh, so that... Uh, a very accurate view of the wireless infrastructure is achieved through end-to-end -end bandwidth and application testing. You can run the Wave Deploy client application on any type of laptop device. You can run it on an iPad, an iTouch, an iPhone. And basically what I did is I took the iPhone and I placed it at different spots around the office. So I got an overall view and basically made a mesh calibration of the office area. And the last sampling that I did, you can see that the center circle is an orange color, which indicated to me that there was potentially a problem spot in that area, because you can see varying degrees of, of reds and yellow, or greens, yellows, and oranges in the center of the testing locations. So now I'm going into the actual data to look at what I've collected, and you can mouse over each collection point and see the downstream speed test results. And you can see the different MOS scores that are achieved through the the, the voice testing. Uh, each data location spot has a recording which can be moused over and viewed. And you can see the TCP throughput there and what the average megabits per second is. So you can get a, um, a really in-depth look at your wireless infrastructure and understand what your uploads and download speeds are for different types of application streams. Uh, whether it be TCP or UDP. Uh, you can also drill down into the client uh, device and look at the upload good put and the HTTP download good put as well. So you can see whether or not you're getting 5 megabits or more. There's a downstream speed test for TCP good put, so you can see your TCP. Uh, you can see your MOS scores, your upstream voice packet loss. Um, downstream voice packet loss. Of course, this, this device was not actively making a voice call, but the ports and the data type of a voice call was being tested. You can look at the different outputs for um, the network application data, speed test, and the MOS scores uh, under the, uh, the network menu. So you can compare the difference from the, the, the network side versus the client device side. And as we can see here, the data display for the upstream voice packet loss on the client side is the same as that for the network side. So I'm not entirely sure what those two menus are there for. You can change the application SLAs for laptop devices. You can see you have a multitude of things to choose from. I'll expand this out so you can see the whole uh, list of options that you can edit and choose uh, as your target SLAs so that you can actually test the network to your specifications. Under smartphone, you have a whole bunch of different options. You have patient monitors or scanners or VoFi devices that you can choose from to set different codecs, different DSCP settings, payload sizes, minimal, minimum acceptable rates. You have a, a whole litany of things that you can change. You can change the signal SLAs, uh, say the target physical rate, minimum acceptable FI rate, uh, give an RF signal strength, and you just basically click into those boxes and edit those with your keyboard. You can run a report on, on the data so you can see whether or not you're in compliance, 
And when you click the assessment information, you can actually put in the header uh, of the site location and tested by. And you can see that it generates a really nice report with static screen grabs from the data that you collected. So this can be very useful for showing to other persons that were interested in what the upload download speeds were uh, from the devices that you tested when you tested the end-to-end -end throughput on the wireless network. You can see the client observe upstream voice MOS scores and whether or not they passed or were marginal downstream voice MOS scores and the area where you change the site location tested by and the test description is under the assessment information where you can edit this and place in the information for the site location and who it was tested by and a description of what the test was and that will appear at the top of the report so that you can customize the header for each report.